My name is Andy Keene. I'm the general manager of the Tesla Group at NVIDIA. And we're here to actually launch a new GPU. And this is a GPU that we designed from the ground up for high performance computing. It's our third generation of GPU for high performance computing. Much more double precision performance, ECC, a lot of the technologies the HPC community is looking for. In addition, uh, we've had a lot of research, a lot of software developed over the last two years. So we're showing that off in the booth. Uh, we have academic posters. Uh, we have some uh, very famous speakers who will be in the booth. Um, and a lot of the software, the demos that's, uh, that are behind me in astrophysics, in biology. Uh, so in the booth um, at, Su at Supercomputing 09, we have a demonstration of AMBER. We have a demonstration of astrophysics on the new Fermi architecture, in addition to other technologies around the 3D internet. So Fermi is one of those brand new, groundbreaking products. Uh, we took all of the assumptions we had in the past, um, we re-looked at them and did a brand new GPU um, that is very applicable um, and very now well-tuned for high-performance computing. At SC09, we're launching a brand new set of products for high-performance computing using the new Fermi architecture GPU. So in September, we talked about the basic architecture. We talked about what was new and all the new features that were in Fermi. Now at the show, we're actually talking to people about how they can actually buy this product in a cluster, in a workstation. We're actually demonstrating our workstation cluster, our workstation technology uh, in the booth. And so we're actually telling people and getting people ready, this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to deploy in 2010. So what's so special about the GPU and CUDA? The GPU has an incredible number of processors and a lot of floating point horsepower in the GPU. Prior to CUDA, it was basically locked inside the GPU, and the only way to get access to it was through graphics, through programming models and software that were really unfamiliar to most people in high performance computing. So what we introduced in 2006 was a brand new way of accessing the architecture in the GPU. We kind of unlocked the power of the GPU with a C programming model that was very simple to, for people to understand. And so we sent that out for free. We supported on all of our GPUs, not just the HPC GPUs, but also our consumer and workstation GPUs. And it allowed people to start researching all the different types of parallel applications that could be mapped to an architecture like the GPU. Where people were taking um, a lot of parallel codes in molecular dynamics, quantum chemistry, um, astrophysics, we have some commercial applications, now the 3D internet. Taking all of these applications using this very accessible CUDA programming tool set, uh, we call it CUDA, uh, C for CUDA, um, and actually now it's been extended to Fortran, uh, we're extending to C++, so all of these very familiar languages, and now developers can take all of these areas and map them to the GPU using a coprocessing model, CPU for some types of computing, and the GPU for other types of computing. So what's really special is now anybody can get access to parallel computing. So what are we doing in the 3D internet? It really is uh, its one of those themes at Supercomputing 09. Um, and really, actually, it's a theme throughout the industry. And how do we take this incredibly powerful, powerful 3D technology that exists in clusters and in client um, in workstations and PCs, how do we bring that to everybody? So we've recently launched um, a uh, software called the Reality Server. And this is actually one of those fundamental pieces of infrastructure. This is actually gives any web designer access to the 3D internet. So in the booth at Supercomputing 09, we're showing one application on top of a Reality Server called iRay. And this is an application that allows you to do real-time ray tracing, but deliver that content, deliver that real-time ray trace content to any client. So we're showing it on an HP Mini. We're showing it on an iPhone. So 3D content rendered in the cloud, produced in the cloud, 
through Reality Server, delivered right to any client that you have, from a mobile, through notebooks, through anything in your office. For those people who haven't been able to make it to Supercomputing 09, uh, we have a URL where you can see all of the different types of technologies here at the show here. Um, so it's www.nvidia.com slash sc09. And we're updating that website with content every day, video, pictures, um, blog entry. Thank you for visiting our booth today. Uh, my name's Andy Keene. I'm from NVIDIA and I'm the general manager of the Tesla Group.